let's look at polymath uh, and its uses in chemical engineering polymath is a program which is being developed by chemical engineers uh, developed by michael cutlip and its team and uh, it is i think one of the very uh, easy program which you know helps you to solve you know mathematical models in chemical engineering basically it covers four different kinds of you know equations or you may say codes or solution the first being system of linear equations this is system of non linear equations this is ordinary differential equation and this is regress regressing the data when we have got experimental data and we want to fit that to a model now <clears throat> today we are going to see the you know use of system of linear equation uh, see the the moment you click it a uh, spreadsheet like tool will appear and we have to enter the data say for example our you know there are three equation and three unknown and say we hypothetically enter some data and <coughs> say we have got So this is taken as you know 3x1 plus 9x2 minus 3x3 equals to 5, 2x1 minus 5x2 plus 3x3 equals to 10, 5x1 plus 3x2 minus 2 equals to 5. This is how you, you we can read this uh, as a as an input, and we know that many times we encounter such you know a linear set of linear equations in chemical engineering. So once we have entered this data, just press on this arrow, <coughs> and polymath gives you everything. So this is the equation. Or these are your x1, x2, x3 value. This is the equation which we have entered. This is the matrix, and this gives you the number of equations. So it's so simple that you just need to enter the data and press on the arrow. No, no programming, no coding is required. <coughs> you can add any number of equations. You get the solution. Say for example, I extend this to five. It will give this. So I may change these values to six. Sorry. Six, three, zero. Say this is two, five, four, minus three, four, four, five, twelve, six, minus nine, eight, and let's say seven, five, two, minus four, six, two, and we press enter. And these are the answers. So whatever you enter, you get the answer very easily. So any set of linear equation you can solve uh, using polymath. This is related to <coughs> you know, and you can still you want you can save this program. And if you can just you want to you know just um, start a new function, you can just start a new function. So for example, we have a system of non-linear equation. So we enter a new uh, program, and you can just Add the function which you want. Say, for example, we have already got the, you know, function in front of us. So suppose this is our, uh, you know, function wherein we have got Van der Waals equation. Pressure is known to us. Temperature is known to us. A and B can be calculated, and we we want to find out the value of E. So let's say we try to solve this problem by putting this as the equation, the equation which we want here is, you know, this minus RT equals to zero. Our equation should be FV equals to zero. So I write equation as P plus A upon V to the power two into V minus V minus R multiplied by T and Let's say we write it like this, and uh, we have to give some initial estimate, which is ideally an ideal guess equation that is P V is equal to R T. We are here. We will write 0.5, and we may write under Wall's equation. So our equation is there. Now there are so many. You know unknowns in this equation, so we have to give explicit expressions. Our pressure value, which is given to us in this case, 
is 56 atmospheres or right 56 into and comedy may write the unit you may add one more temperature temperature is 450 kelvin so 450 kelvin we may add tc and pc and then we can calculate a and b so we may add tc tc is 405 so 405.5 kelvin pc is 111.3 atmosphere and then we can add a equals no we have to still add r r also given to us r is 0 0.08206 206 and the units are atmosphere liter gram mole kelvin then we have got a so a can be calculated by the equation given here that is 27 by 64 multiplied by r square into tc square upon tc square same way we can add for b equals a r into tc upon a into pc so these are our one by one's constants so we have defined everything right there is no non-linear equation one auxiliary equation seven and we have not given any upper gas so we might like before we can move further we have to give initial and final value so the minimum value of v zero and <coughs> maximum value of v we can say 200 this will limit the iterations between this and you can just see that after we have submitted all this information this arrow is highlighted so we have got initial like we have got the range these are the a b value a b constant r p c t c t and p and once we get all of them the uh, you know this function can be solved our initial estimate for v0 is 0.5 so based on that uh, polymath will start iterating and eventually it will come to the solution for v for which this function is 0 so we have to just press this we may have some issue here mm -hmm. we might need to modify the equation as it is this we may have to this may and see see hence it was v was in denominator it was facing some issue but this is how you can get the value of v and this is the function these are the values which we have got and this is how you can solve a non-linear equation single variable non-linear equation for uh, you know one 
Maxwell's equation using polymath. So, uh, uh, polymath is a very simple tool. If once you enter all this, you can get the you know uh, system of linear equation, system of non-linear equation. Uh, this version of polymath also you know comes with inbuilt example wherein here it is a quadratic equation, same SRK equation, pipe diameter, and these are all for this particular uh, re, uh, you know uh, section. If you go to this and you go to examples, you get linear equation. Same way, if you go to ordinary differential equation, say for example, and you go to example, you will get you know example related to ordinary differential equation. And for regression, there also you got example. You got example for this. So you know we can use this inbuilt example to understand this in a better way. We, next time we'll talk more about ordinary differential equation and regression analysis. Thank you.